Hey, hey. Hey, mom. What is up? Oh, I got home from school and now I can take your class. It's good. Oh my gosh. I'm sitting on the couch with my kitchen. So today you will need, oh, what a kitty. <laughs> Our workout today, you will need a kettlebell and a block. If you don't have a block or like, um, oh, this is it. I didn't turn my camera around. There we go. So this I is what I have. have. Just well, that's Snowflake over there. Snowflake, so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so we got animals in the workout. So I have I have two kettlebells. You really only need one or any weight that you can swing and do kettlebell swings. And then I have a block. And if you don't have a block, that's okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's um, not. It's not a that deal breaker. Okay. I'll have to think of something. But I do have weights, so but not kettlebells. Yeah, if you have regular dumbbells, that that'll okay. work fine too. Right. Kind of heavy. Oh, uh, my knees have been really sore, Vaughn. So there might be here and there that I, I don't know, modify. But okay, yeah. If you if we so the knee uh, dominant exercises that we're gonna do is the prisoner walk ups. Uh, very similar to the exercise we did last week. It's just going to be a little bit more intense. So prisoner walk-ups will be ah. So they will be here. You're going to be like a prisoner. Boom. Oh, okay. And then the other knee um, exercise that we're going to do is the deficit reverse lunge. That's why you need the block. So you'll have your foot. Sure, if you can see this block, everything's all wonky right now. No worries. Okay. So your foot will be on the block. <laughs> and then you'll do a reverse lunge from here. Okay. Um, if you don't have a block, don't worry. You can just do it on the floor. Okay, I have a rolled up yoga mat that might work too. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so, and then I also use the block for our single leg reverse lunge. Check okay. it! I'll just use it. Yay! Sabrina. All right. Kathy. Woohoo! Look at Kathy, Dr. Kathy. Hey. Jackie's on there. Awesome. If you guys can see my rabbit. Nah, she's so cute. Snowflake. She? Snowflake? Okay. So um, today, for those of you, oh, here's Sarah. Let's wait and see if anybody else is going to join in a few minutes. Um, so the work, the equipment you'll need is a weight, similar to the exercise, the workout we did last week. It's just going to be a little bit more intense. And a block, if you don't have a block, don't worry about it. Or is this is going to be for deficit reverse line. What's going on here? Let me my camera. So, the deficit reverse line. Hey, hey, hey. The people are shooting. I'll take a knee. Cool, cool. Nice. Wait until everybody gets in view of the camera. And then once you guys do, I'll get started on reviewing our class Saturday. I still have the whiteboard up.
Good job, good job. Thank you. everybody in view. Uh, Amy, you good? Thumbs up if you're ready. Kathy, you good? Thumbs up if you're ready. Sarah, you ready? Thumbs up. Awesome. Ugh, swipe. Sabrina, you ready? Thumbs up. Jackie, you ready? Michelle, you ready? Awesome. Okay, ladies, uh, everyone. Okay, everyone. So I am going to re quickly review before we get started on our workout, our class from Saturday. So hopefully you guys can see um, the whiteboard. I can bring the homework down. It looks like a crazy scientist wrote this, but there's sense to it and I'll break it down. If you were there on sat, if you were in my lecture class on Saturday, you probably, and you've been taking my lecture classes, you will understand the concept of this brain bubble. So on Saturday, we went over posture and key concepts on how to open the, guard, the, the closed guard. So the first thing that we started off it with is spinal alignment. If you can see here, bring the camera closer. We started off with spinal alignment, right? So when we are trying to keep our, line, our spine straight up and down, i angle it, straight up and down, we want to make sure that our gaze, cha, welcome, welcome. Let's see here. All right, Cha, can you hear me? Thumbs up if you can. Similar weight, uh, workout for yesterday, you'll need a weights for your kettlebell swings and a block um, to do deficit reverse lunges. Right now I'm just going over uh, Saturday's concepts from Saturday's class. So you will need your gaze to look straight above the horizon, or we typically look up. Anytime you're in closed guard, people typically teach you to look up. To keep good posture alignment, that's not always the case. Sometimes you will look straight over the horizon. Uh, when I'm using a strength exercise, such as the deadlift to reinforce spinal alignment and posture, I'll actually look slightly down the horizon. But for jujitsu, for jujitsu, let's bring it back. We want to always look up or look above the horizon to keep posture alignment because we don't want people pulling our head down and then curving our cervical spine. Um, next thing we need to do in order to keep, keep good posture is hinging properly through our hips. So we want to make sure that we don't have like girl twerking at the club booty and grandpa booty. We don't want to be walking like this, right? So good posture alignment means your hips are straight up and down. And also your shoulders aren't in your ears. If you've ever noticed when you are new and you get stuck in closed guard, you're trying to push somebody down, you end up like here. I'm already curved in my upper back. So we wanna to start to retract our scapula and push everything down. And this is very similar to like a chest press motion or a bench press or a push-up, we're doing this motion. So today we're gonna to add push-ups into our workout. Um, so if you notice here in my brain bubble, we have shoulders down and away from ear, scapula retraction. Remember, if your shoulders are in your ears, it probably means you're stressed. Take a breath, get refocused, notice what's happening in your body, and then come back to spinal alignment. All right? We're gonna push our hip, or the person's hips down and away, just like we did, how I demonstrated with the push-up. You're pushing the hips down and away in order to keep the hips pinned onto the ground and not allow those hips to climb up to you. Lastly, we're working on, well, not lastly, second to lastly, we're working on balance, right? Because like Amy said during class, anytime she's in closed guard, sorry, I'm moving my camera. Anytime she's in closed guard and as a beginner, 
you're trying to open the guard, you're trying to move around and you find that you start to lose balance and then that's when you get swept. That's when people start to capitalize on position. So we want to focus on balance through our hips, balance through our core, so that we can get out of the closed guard and get to a more dominant position. And then last, link, last thing, since we're just focusing on posture and opening the guard, no passing moves, the last thing is to change the angle. So we want to take the uh, closed guard, which is the person's keeping their knees pinched and they're trying to keep you close to, keep them close to your hips, right? Keep your hips close to their hips. So then they can climb up, get you into arm bars, triangles, omoplatas, take your back, sweep you. They need to keep your hip, their hips close and on top of your hips to do that. So we want to push them away, create distance, and when the closed guard, and we want to take that angle where their knees are pinched and widen it, and that'll start to break open the, um, the guard, or at least give you enough space if you're small enough to just get your knee in and start any passing. So that's a quick review of what we went over on Saturday during our lecture class, where it was a little bit more, um, there was some discourse, like a little bit of conversation during that time. And uh, we're going to work on these strength exercises today. So we reinforce all of those positions mentally in our head and also work on the muscles that need to be strengthened so that we, bec we can become good jujitsu athletes. So Does anybody have any questions? I know I kind of went over that really fast. Um, if you were in the class Saturday, is there anything that kind of came up for you um, afterwards that we didn't discuss? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Okay. So let's get it going. I'm really excited for this workout. Not really, but it's going to be fun. We're going to sweat. Get your music going, whatever, whatever tunes you want in the background to keep you motivated. I'm going to demonstrate the exercises that we're going to do today really uh, quickly. If you uh, need an explanation on the exercise, I will um, make sure to take a pause right after so I can explain it in detail. All right, so first exercise we're starting out with is the kettlebell swings. You're going to start with the kettlebell in front of you. I'm gonna change the angle of this phone because I can't really see. And if you guys can't really see, then I can't really see. I mean, if I can't see, then you guys can't see. All right. So we're gonna take the kettlebell out in front of you. We're going to hike it between our legs like a football and then pop our hips up. Boom, boom. Just right here. And you see how I let it down controlled. I'm using my hips. I'm, use, let, I'm not pulling up with my arms. I'm allowing my hips to create the motion of the kettlebell. So I am relaxing my hips, letting them open back, and then squeezing my hips forward to pop my hips and pop the kettlebell up to my horizon, remember, at eye level or slightly above. So I'm, we're here. We're here and we're keeping our gaze forward. All right, second exercise is gonna be our prisoner walk-ups. So we're gonna start on our knees. Hands over your head like a prisoner or you can keep them straight out if you need to uh, reinforce that extra tension in your body. And then we're gonna just stay low in these low lunges for 45 seconds, okay? So this is a stack exercise, which means we're not going to terminate any exercises when we do them. We're, gonna, we're going to repeat the exercise two times, add another exercise, and then repeat those next two exercises, add another exercise, repeat those next three exercises, and so on and so forth. All right, after prisoner walk-ups, we're going to have our deficit reverse lunge or just regular reverse lunge if you don't have a block. So if you have a block to elevate your foot, you're gonna stand on that block and then you're going to reverse lunge down. 
maintaining your balance. Boom, here. If you don't have a block, pretty simple. You don't need it, it's okay. Just here, you're gonna have tension in your upper body, reverse lunge down. We're gonna stay on the same leg. And you see how I'm always balancing on this leg and I'm, I'm trying my best to not put my foot down. That was the third exercise. For ex fourth exercise will be single leg reverse lunge. All right, I, I mean single leg Romanian deadlift. So if you have a block or a very light weight, because I want you guys to focus on balance first, you're going to hold the block between your hands and it's kind of like a Tweety Bird. You're here, balancing. This is, if you don't have a good balance in your ankles and your feet, this will be challenging, but it's gonna be a good break down and then up. So when I bend over, I'm stretching my hamstrings. And then when I'm coming up, I'm squeezing my glutes. So try not to pull up in your upper back. If you don't have anything to balance between your hands, that's okay. Just have everything empty. Tightness, rigidity in your arms. And then you're going to bend forward and then back, right? We're going to stay on one leg for 20 seconds. After the 20 seconds, I'll call it out and we'll switch to the next leg. Same thing with the deficit reverse lunge. All right. After that, we're going to do push-ups. Pretty, pretty simple. We're doing push-ups though for 45 seconds. So you can take your time. You can bust them out really fast. I highly suggest sticking with the tempo. So down, up, down, up. If you can't do push-up off of your knees, that's fine. On your knees is okay. If that's hard, you can always find a wall and do push-ups on the wall. This is um, my bedpost. This is kind of a weird example. Last exercise is core. Right after our push-ups, we're going to go straight into what is called the black widow knee slide. So we're in our plank position. All right, we're going to bring our knee to our opposite elbow, crunch up, down, and then back. Try to keep your glutes from being up here or being down here. You wanna stay level. Crunch your knee in, squeeze your belly button, squeeze up, down, and back. All right? Is anybody lost? Does anybody have any questions? Let's go. All right. Let's get it. First one, kettlebell swings. Y'all get set up. We got 45 seconds right here. I actually messed up on the deficit reverse lunge. It'll say reverse squat. Um, but I'll have to call out the time for you guys because I didn't I didn't switch the time. Oh, let me go back. Okay, starting in 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kettlebell swing, go. Two, one, 15 seconds rest. And then we're gonna go back into kettlebell swings.
Kettlebell swing for the bell. Use your hips. Try not to break in your back. Two, one, 15 second break. We're going back into kettle spell swings and then we're gonna add the prisoner walk up. Breathe. Hands out in front or on your head, stay low. Right. Starting back with kettlebell swings. Two, one, kettlebell swings. Yes. All right. Kettlebell swings, prisoner walk ups, deficit reverse lunge, or regular reverse lunge. If you need a light in the weight, you can lighten the weight. We're gonna get a little bit of a break on the single leg. We're making a couple. walk ups.
So grab your blocks. Step on it. Switch legs. Same thing. Starting with the kettlebell swing. Deficit reverse lunge. Switch side. This time we're going to add the single leg Romanian deadlift. You'll get a rest since this is a very technical exercise. You'll get a rest. Two, one, deficit reverse one. Let's do alternating. So one foot starts up, down, switch. So we don't have to worry about switching.
This is our slow down time, rest and recover here, focus on technique. This is just like when you're in jujitsu mat. Which side? Just like when you're in a dead a jujitsu mat, you're tired. All you have to rely on is your technical skills. Allow your body to move, how you train it to move. Yes. Kettlebell swing. <laughs> horizon, horizon. Don't let your gaze drop. Use your ass to get you back in posture. Breathe. Take your walk ups. Find your own tempo, find your own speed. It's not always a race, it's about tempo, who's controlling the rhythm of your match. If you can control your breathing, you can control your body. If you control your body, you can control your rhythm. You can control your mind. That's what we're both doing. Alternating legs. Have to shake it up. Many and deadlift. Technique. This is technique. Squeeze your butt. Mindfulness and focus. Your side. Rest. All right. We're adding the push ups after the single leg deadlift. You can do it on your knees. You can do it on an elevated surface if you need to. You just hold a push if that's all you got. Is her focus on that horizon right above it? Is there a
Alternating. Technique, technique, technique. Balance is what we're looking for here. Do that. Take some. Push up, knees on push up, elevated push up, planks if you gotta, whatever works for you. We're down here for 45 seconds. Pushing the hips away. Squeezing your chest together, gathering the ground. that one more time. Two. As we're getting fatigued, we focus on our breathing. We focus on our rhythm. What rhythm are you creating in your body? What rhythm can you allow your breath to fall into? Take your time, your own body. One, that's a reverse one. Alternating. We're going to deadlift technique, 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 technique. Switch 
Push those hips down. Great. All right, you guys. For those of you who are ready for this, let's make a pat, a, a mental internal pat. On this round, we're going to push ourselves as hard and as fast as we can. So, you feel like you don't want to, but move past it. If you're not ready for that challenge, that's okay. If you are, Mentally push yourself. If you could add more resistance, add more resistance. If you don't have the resistance, add speed. There's a part of us that wants to quit, just keep pushing. There's a part of us that wants to fall back into comfortable, comfortability, push past that. There's a part of you might want to cry if you're trying to actually push yourself. Remember, you're strong mentally, emotionally, physically, and you can work through it. We can push past it. We want to expand our pain threshold here. One. It's a failure, it's a failure. You might almost want to quit here. Keep going, faster. And find your breath. We'll get the technique part to calm down. All right, Romanian deadlift. This is where we fall back into our technique. We push ourselves hard. We work hard to keep our position. Now you get to control the pace. You get to just be sensitive and focus here. Sensitivity, mindfulness. We're controlling the math at this point. All right, push up. Hard and fast, hard and fast. Got to get two out in a row. Three. Three, four. Little knee slide. 
If you can only go opposite elbow to opposite knee, that's okay. So try to get that added crunch in the end. So we're here. Boom. All right, if you push yourself hard, you earn the chance to just fall back into your rhythm here. Everything's back into rhythm. This is when you learn to work past failure. Whatever you find it again. Just in rhythm. This is our last and final round. You're just moving in your natural, your body's natural rhythm, but you're not quitting. And whenever you find yourself a little more, give a little more, but you can stay in your rhythm here. One, that's it, reverse lunge, alternating. Rhythm. Single leg Romanian deadlift. This is our last and final exercises. Only two exercises left after this. And then we're done. This side. Uh, I'll play my. Push up. Rhythm. Try to not keep the same pace the whole time. Push the hips away. Pat your back. Knee slide. That's opposite knee to opposite elbow. Just a little crunch at the end.
break. That's it. That's time. Woo! I sweat so hard on that one. I think that's probably my hardest workout yet. Awesome. What were you saying, Michelle? It was awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. How's everybody else feeling? Did anybody die? Okay. All right. For the most part, everybody's alive. I don't know who Sabrina is. All right. So, quick question before we sign off. Um, oh, good. Sabrina's, Sabrina's alive. Sabrina's alive. <laughs> She said so, so. <laughs> so um, this was our workout for our posture uh, open guard. You can tell today I made it a lot more difficult than last week. I structured the uh, workout where it was more of a conditioning style workout than um, a metabolic burn workout because I feel like that's something that we're all jujitsu people missing is just that, that L rated heart rate and feeling like you're actually in the middle of a roll. Um, so there's different ways, as I said, to structure these exercises. There's some, I got sweat all up in my eye. Oh God. Um, there's ways to structure these workouts for metabolic burn. That means that this is getting our muscles fatigued and you're going to build muscle. There's ways to structure these exercises for strength, where it's really just, you're focusing on just pure strength. You're not trying to elevate your heart rate. You're just trying to get your muscles strong, not necessarily big, just strong. And then the, we did like a conditioning style workout today where I was just pushing y'all's endurance, metabolic burn and endurance the whole way. Um, so we got Saturday's lecture class coming up. Um, I will, it's going to be tentative. I actually might cancel this Saturday's class because I will be in Florida possibly trying to still figure out my flight it's either going to be this i'll be in florida either this saturday or next saturday so we're just trying to figure that out but um i will keep you guys posted by latest you'll know if we have class um on this saturday for wednesday but in any event i want to know from you guys what are some positions that you've been struggling with lately so we went over posture we went over kind of guard um, we went over arm bars and triangles. Um, we can review arm bars again if that's what you guys want. Um, or we can go over um, something that anybody has in particular that's in their head. Um, anybody? Anything in particular? No? Raise your hand if you're down to learn some really cool. Oh, what you got, Sarah? Well, I'm down to learn anything and everything, but. Um guillotines which i know you know about sounds good yeah guillotines it is we'll go over guillotines uh during my saturday class um and then i'll confirm with you guys by wednesday if it's going to be if we're going to have this class this saturday or if i'll po postpone that guillotine class to the following saturday but i'll work up a guillotine curri curriculum uh for you guys for my lecture jujitsu class and I'll keep you all posted. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Until then, have a great rest of your week. Bye. Thanks, Vaughn. You're awesome. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Vaughn. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.